We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus, again. Once again, I'm Brian Tewitt of Anita the Man Morning Star Communications, No Embassy Ministries. I'm Brian Tewitt. And my beautiful anointed wife thanks you to be part of our broadcast tonight. Anita Hewitt. And just going to be joining us very, just really, in just a matter of a few weeks here of our Christmas service. So do stay tuned. And, and we thank you for joining us. Those around the world, your AM hours are just starting over in Asia, the new day, then wrapping around the evening hours and morning hours of Europe, uh, India, Africa, Asia, and right here in North America, live from Los Angeles, California. Let's also grab a clean sheet of notebook paper because we'll be doing some tap dancing through the scripture. And let's uh, go to the throne room of God and pray. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one ju judgment of Christ. We thank you for the loving truth of this time, God's endless rhyme. For the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Foundation Scripture, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, uh, praise ye the Lord. Let's meditate on these things. As Jesus says, Ephesians 4, verse 25. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. These are certainly worthy of the images of faith, hope, and love. Virtues, blessings joined together in several passages. Praise and careful reflection. Were these reflections of the careful and blessed images that God places into our new life. Philippians, I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. And I'll abide faith, hope, and love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith, the labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, and the sight of our God <clears throat> and Father. The, the love defined. Bringing to the capture of his embrace to your time of your love, of your moving f to the act of goodwill and that which is commanded, the fondness, the heartfelt affection as that which cannot be forced. Yet the distinction between the two is always, is not always clear cut. Love can also be defined as brotherly love or affection, the strong, often commanded in the, in the scriptures. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor, giving preference to one another. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 22. If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. O Lord, come. No. Dear Lord, we sing of the truth, we sing of love, we sing of your time, because love can be de demanded. The love of God to love God and Jesus. Yes. We are commanded to love and keep it. God, God heart, soul, mind, and strength. Mark 12, verse 30. And you, shall, and you shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. We are commanded to love Jesus more than family. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 22. If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. O Lord, come. The greatest command of the law reinforced in the gospel. Of this time, God's love, God's bringing of his unity of the Holy Spirit to guide to that sweet embrace of the affection that he has for all guiding into the images of God's love and moving into the depth to the love of our families, to the love of 
life to the love of expressing and being developed by the love of God and taught by God. That magical embrace that God gives to each and every one of us. But taught by God. <clears throat> Concerning brother love to love one another. By way of example how he sent his son. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 1 John chapter 4, 9, 9 through 10. And this, the love of God, was manifest toward us that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. And this is a love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation of our sins. By way of example, how he was willing to, to die for us. First John chapter 3, verse 16. By this we, we know love, because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. How he loved his, his disciples. How he moved with great compassion. Taught by Jesus, taught by Paul, taught by Peter. We come into this world of this time, of God's endless rhyme, bringing into the depths of the new life that we have, moving into the aspects of the strength, of the unity of the Holy Spirit, to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ, to guide into the embrace, the message of what love can bring, the message of this guidance, of this truth, of this time. God's love cannot be articulated Each touch of God's finger upon our lives is different from someone you may know, someone you sit next to in church. Move into this compassion, move into this reality, move into this time. God's endless rhyme of his love guiding you to that aspect of his love, his truth, and his truth sets us all free, guiding us into the now faith guiding you into the everlasting love that we have brethren come let us feel the embrace of the poetry of the affection of his love upon us let us come into the renewing of the mind to the life and the heart and to our loving truth let us all work for the Lord. Let us all be of his time. Let us all sing of his embrace, of the majesty of his truth, guiding the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ, guiding each and every one to his name and for his name. We seek of the truth. We seek of his love. We seek the all and all of his time. As we sing these scriptures, we live these scriptures, we bring into the love demonstrated by God and Jesus. John 3.16, we, we all of us should know this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Jesus' love was demonstrated by dying for us. John 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down his one life for his friends. True love is sacrificial. True love guides us to that example of the truth. Demonstrate it in deed and in truth. 1 John chapter 3, 17 and 18. But whosoever has this world's goods and his seed is his brother in need, and shuts up his heart from him. How does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in world or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. But in deed and in truth. We must be in deed and in truth. We must sing of these songs 
from the melody and the harmony, harmony that God places upon the whispers of his wind and moves us to the task, to the place where God wants us to be, not what we want to be. Not what we want to be. Of this time, we move into this life. Of this time, we move into this example. Love suffers long and is kind, expounded by Paul. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not believe rudely, does not seek its own, it does not provoke, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But true love is everlasting, kind, patient, humble, polite, and assumes the best in others. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 8. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. Amen. Psalms 10, verse 3. For the wicked boasts of his heart desire, he blesses the greedy and renounces it. The Lord. Third John. Verse 3, For I rejoiced greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, just as you walk in the truth. Just as you walk into the truth. Guide us into your life. Guide us into your time. But love is the heartfelt, heartfelt affection toward God and man. That is the act of goodwill towards everyone. Yet where we do lack this affection and act of goodwill, we need to acknowledge the deficiency as we as an indication of our spiritual immaturity. We need to be willing to relearn love by turning our life over to God. We can have great peace in this world. Turn to God. We can have true peace, not a false peace that we is prophesied that we'll have as we taught in Revelation. but true peace by you going forward and being about God's messenger, God's witness, God's love and His truth, guiding you to that sweet embrace of God's own loving truth in Jesus' precious name. Satan comes after my wife and I every day because we have the gifts. And if you ever meet a minister who says they're never attacked, that means one thing, they have no gifts. But we come into this time, God's endless rhyme. God loves you. He created you. He did not create you to destroy you. He created you to, so you can be a habitation of His glory, so you can go forth and send His messages through you to the world to travel upon the God's whispers of his wind and to go where God wants you to be and speak God's loving words of that embrace and for his embrace in Jesus' precious name. God is married to the backslider and to those who don't know that, that's you and I, the entire world. And as you are redeemed, you shall learn that you are focusing on your reality of your redemption with God because you are redeemed. You move into the inheritance what God brings to each and every one of us. So throw away your addiction, throw away your complaints, throw away everything in Jesus' precious name. Repeat this after me, dear God. I admit I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sin. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Fill me and take control. 
and to help me become the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you, Father, for bringing me forward. That's my wife. Praise your name in the background. I am lifting your name into the heavenlies, but most important, right now, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Before the throne of God. In Jesus' precious name. We sing of the truth of the Lord. We sing of his time. We sing of his greatest love. Because your first offering is the offering of obedience. So get yourself into faith-based, spirit-led church, midweek, Bible study, Sunday, service on the saints, and fellowship, 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 in Jesus' precious name. And to move into the sincerity of God's love, God's truth, His time, His being, His moment. We want to get to know you, so please get to know us at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. There, brethren, you will see there are several mission, several auxiliaries, a mission team, our evangelical team, our translation team, our broadcast team. We encourage you to, to be a traveling partner, financial partner into our ministry. You are the sower. The power is in the seed that you plant into this fruitful ministry. And Jesus right now will show you that vision found in John chapter 4, verse 35. The fields are white. Ready for the picking, ready for the pruning. Harvest is now. In Jesus' name. Guiding you to that everlasting love. Guiding you to that time. And then he brings you to, to the manifestation. From the vision to the manifestation. That the living word of God is always pregnant. Revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And then Malachi chapter 3 opens up above you. That the windows of heaven will pour down upon you. Pour down blessings upon you. That you have no room in your storehouse to plant them, to keep them, or save them. In Jesus' precious name. Guide us, O Lord. And to your substance of your truth. Guide us, O Lord. And to your time, God's endless room. Guide us, O Lord, to the magnificence of your truth. For the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Brethren. Now, there's two couple ways you can send, go on a journey to send us your tithes and offerings. One is to revisit us again at BrianTewitt.com. Click on the contact link. There you'll see our full name, Memorial Star Communication Network, MCM Ministries. Just make your check payable to that. Again, Morning Star Communication Network, MCM Ministries. And then right above that is our donation link. Your tithes and offerings will come to us immediately. And your both journeys will get a receipt after the first of the year for your personal records and your tax purposes. In Jesus' precious name. Guide us to the everlasting love. Guide us to that sweet embrace. Guide us to that time. God's endless rhyme. And this time, your love and your truth. In Jesus' precious name. And we thank you for your prayers and support ahead of time. Brethren, the love of the truth is can hurt. I shared with a family member on my wife's side that you know when how deep you love someone is when they hurt you. And that gives us an understanding of the depth, the measurement of that four letter word called love, but has such an endless rhyme of a definition. We can acknowledge the truth and live the truth of the Lord. But how many of us can die for the entire sins of the world? Because God the Father sent His only Son to die for you, to die for me, for Anita, your children, my children. We come unto the Lord. We come unto the truth. We come unto your time. For in the precious name of Jesus... Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, it has been a blessed, long, victorious day in the name of Jesus. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for this journey to the road of grace that brings us to your straight and narrow. Men are caught off your chosen. We thank you for the loving truth of the Lord. We thank you for your time. God's endless rhyme. 
of this time. In Jesus' name. We guide you to that embrace. We guide you to that time. We guide you to the measurements of your faith, of this love, of this time. We thank you for the mercy, new mercy of this day. We thank you for the wisdom and discernment. In Jesus' name, we love thee. Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this evening. On behalf of, of our entire ministry team, our wife, myself, we thank you for your time until next time. You stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world on BrianJewitt.com. BrianJewitt.com. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people.